y'all, I made an easy and delicious Thanksgiving dinner. It took me right at an hour, and I made it for about $20. It was $20 and some change, but look how delicious that looks. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I will have the breakdown of everything I used and the price for everything. It was a little bit over $20, not quite $21, but I'm saving a little bit here and there by making the cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to make it myself and I'll have that recipe link down below. I'm also going to make a dessert and just make rolls with those crescent rolls. So that's going to help in my price too. And I did buy this turkey breast for $15. It was almost $15, but I'm only going to use half of it and it, it will just need to be heated up. And I'm going to start on the cream of mushroom soup. This was really easy and really delicious. And all I'm going to do is combine the flour and milk. And like I said, I'll have the recipe link down below. Just make sure you get all the lumps out. Just stir that up really well. And then we're going to start on the mushrooms. And what I'm doing is I'm not going by the recipe here. I'm going to saute my mushrooms to give them a little bit more flavor. And don't put salt in here because it'll just steam the mushrooms instead of getting them browned. So I'm just going to cook them like that for a few minutes. You could also add some onion if you wanted to. I'm going to add in the broth. Instead of buying some broth, I'm just using some bouillon cubes in water, and that's going to save me a little bit of money as well. So I'm just going to stir that up, make a mess. <laughs> and then I'll cook that for just a few minutes. I'm going to add a couple pinches of salt. The recipe doesn't say exactly how much salt, but just go by how, how you like it. A couple pinches was just fine and then I put in some pepper as well so now I'm going to add my flour and milk mixture and just mix that together I did end up adding a little bit more milk because it was a little bit thick so just stir that together and then I'm gonna start on my turkey breast I just cut it in half I'm not gonna cut it into slices so it doesn't dry out so I'm just going to cover it in some aluminum foil and let it cook in the oven until everything else is ready. It's already cooked, so all I wanted to do was heat it through. And it'll just cook with everything else. And now I've got some garlic powder, and I'm also adding some onion powder. I'm not measuring. I'm just measuring with my heart like I always do. But I almost put garlic powder in there twice because I didn't read the, the bottle, of course. So I'm just going to mix that up and... That was done and it was so easy I can't believe I've been buying cans all this time when I didn't know it was this easy it just kind of, it just came together in just a few minutes so now I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then I'll add my green beans you can add frozen ones but I needed to use up these so I just added the canned ones and I rinsed mine really really well before I put them in there and then drained them off so they wouldn't add a whole lot of liquid to the to the soup mixture and I also like to add my French fried onions in the soup mix with the, with the, with the green beans and put it on top. So I'm just going to add a little bit there and stir that together. All right, I'm going to add my green bean mixture to my baking dish and just smooth that out. And if you didn't have the French fried onions, you could always use breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs would be really good in this too. So I'm just going to top it with the french fried onions and we'll put it in the oven and let it bake till it's bubbly. And here I'm just making some more bouillon and I did put some butter in there per the package directions. I'm just going by the directions but I'm just going to bake it instead of doing it as a stovetop stuffing. So I'm just adding that broth and the butter mixed together. I did add a little bit more water because it, it seemed a little bit dry and I wanted to make sure it had enough moisture in it because I'm going to have it in the oven. And I love stuffing in the oven because you get all those crunchy bits and this did not disappoint. It had lots of crunchy bits on it. So I'm just going to mix that together and I'll put that in the oven with everything else and we'll start on the sweet potatoes because those are my favorite part. They were a little bit softer than what I thought, so I just kind of mashed them down in the pan. And I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. And since I, w I have a $20 budget, I really didn't want to add the pecans, but I would love to add the pecans. You could also add some, some marshmallows if you like, but I do not like marshmallows on my sweet potatoes. I like the pecan-like crusty, crunchy stuff on top. So, 
but these were still delicious. And I also added some pats of butter on top. And then I just added that to the oven and let everything cook together. And now I'm going to start on the cream cheese crescent rolls. These were so good. This was like, um, like a cheesecake filling. And I just had a half a block of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar to that. And I'm also going to add some cinnamon. And I'm just not going to measure. I'm just going to measure with my heart again. And then I'll just mix that up and put them inside the crescent rolls. These were really good. I was surprised. And I ate a lot of that cream cheese mixture after I put them in the crescent rolls since I only had four. But these turned out really good. Doug even grabbed one of these and thought it was a roll. And he wasn't expecting that. But he still said it was good. And I'm just rolling them up like a regular crescent roll. Just make sure that you close it up as good as you can. Some of the filling came out, but it was still delicious. And just put those in the oven and let them bake just like a regular crescent roll. I did, after the fact, put a little bit of brown sugar on the top because I thought it needed something else. And you could also make a glaze with powdered sugar and water and put that over the top after they're done. All right, now my turkey's out, so I'm going to start on my gravy. That's the last thing. And I've got a cup of water. I think it was cold water. And you want to mix that up and get out all the lumps. And then you'll turn on the heat and heat that up and just keep kind of stirring it. Make sure it thickens up and it doesn't have any lumps in it. All right, it's right. It's been an hour and we're ready to eat. There's my turkey. There's my stuffing. I've got my gravy. My sweet potatoes there, my green bean casserole, and I did make those instant mashed potatoes from Sam's, and I've got my rolls here, and it only took about an hour. I started at 7.40, and now it's 7.39, so I'm ready to make my plate and eat. I am starving. <laughs> These cinnamon crescent rolls were really good. I did over bake them just a little bit, but they were still delicious. And I cannot believe I made this complete Thanksgiving dinner in an hour and under, uh, right at $20. But now I'm going to put my feet up after we ate and I'm going to eat my a little bit overcooked cinnamon roll. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I'll see y'all in the next video.